glasses on. What kind of advice do we have for you this week? Ooh, where are you? Right there. Right in there. So, we have the two of action. I'm going to read it to you. Trust your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Ooh, that sounds very promising. Have exactly all the cards that we need for the second part of the reading. So, Taurus, um, remember the angel card, you know, uh, don't uh, pick apart the moments. Look at, keep your eye on the big picture, okay? I have the two of pentacles surrounding your entire reading. Yeah, you've been kind of like trying to stay balanced. I think that's why the angel card came out that did come out, is you're thinking about your future. Uh, you might be thinking about a particular person because there's definitely a soulmate card above this, above this card. Um, I feel like you're going back and forth uh, as far as how far to look forward to the future with this person, you know. Um, so you're kind of doing this delicate balance, balancing act. And, you know, your angel card says, don't try not to worry about the little things. Keep your eye on the big picture. I have the king of cups here up in your highest energy. This is water. Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer that might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. This is your energy, though. Um, you are holding a huge cup of love. Very mature-minded. All the kings and queens are mature thinking. You have a huge cup of love. And you're wondering whether you want to hand that cup, of, the full cup out. Is this the right person? Are you seeing someone or someone's coming in? That you're going to have to give this some serious thought. You don't have to. I think you're, because you're your angel card, I think you're going to. Uh, you might even overthink it a little bit here. I have the four of wands next to the king of cups. Wow, beautiful soulmate card. See the 1111 with the wands. This is union between two people. Lots of love, lots of joy. Uh, this is a card for marriage in the tarot deck. Wow. So, hmm, is this what you want to do? Feels like this is a question on your mind. You have the Page of Pentacles next to the Four of Wands. So if this person is coming in, you're going to, it's going to turn into something you're gonna, really going to have to think, you're not going to have to, but you will be thinking about. And, um, but you have a pentacle. You are thinking about your future. This is the Page of Pentacles. So this is all about wondering what your future looks like, whether, you know, this soulmate relationship can work. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's young. It's like the beginnings. Uh, but you do have a pentacle that you can offer. Now, do you want to offer the pentacle? Do you want to offer the cup? That's a huge cup that you got. And I think, I think you're going to have feelings, a lot of deep, deep feelings for this person. But um, you're going to be a little like on, you know, uh, on the edge of, on sitting on a fence, like, gosh, should I move forward or not? You know, I, I think it, it feels more scary uh, than anything so far. It's like you're just hesitant, you know, because probably of past experiences. And I say that because I have the Eight of Cups here. And the Eight of Cups is below the King of Cups. I think you've had to turn your back on love before and you've had to walk away from someone that you've loved. Uh, the moon here is shining the light and I think that you you followed that light. You saw the light in the dark and this is where why you're getting to this point where there is someone coming in or is in your life now uh, that uh, you are, that's a very, very special soulmate very strong connection. There's a lot of happiness associated with that four of wands. It's like laughing. That's, a, you know, about things, just silly things and, you know, just good feelings about that four of wands. Uh, very happy soulmate card. And so I feel like you're following your, your light and you're finding your way towards your uh, soulmate. Uh, this soulmate is actually going to bring an end to a burden that you've been carrying. 
you're going to actually bring it to an end too. But this is next to the Two of Pentacles and under the Page of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. Look, you've been, it, it became a burden. You're overthinking this relationship, okay? So, but it looks like it's going to come to an end. This is the Ten of Wands. The, ten, the wands are slipping out. So the burden's going to go away. There's no Eleven. And so that is a great card to have right bet between the Two of Pentacles and under the Page of Pentacles. So you're going to make a decision and you're going to be able to breathe. It's like you're almost holding your breath right here with the Two of Pentacles because you're not sure which way to go. Is this your ship or is this not your ship? There's a ship out there. Is this your ship that's come in? Don't overthink it because I, I, I really feel like you're just like all over the place here. I had the Eight of Swords under the Eight of Cups. So I feel like when you walked away from this other relationship, you stayed in it a little too long. Um, you have Swords of Truth and Clarity all around you here. And um, it was almost by choice and hoping that things would work themselves out. And they did not. You have a blindfold on. That's, you know, your hand is free. Your hand is on your chin. You're like, ugh, you know. Um, gosh, I wonder if this is ever going to work out. And that just went on too long. And, I, and finally, I think you decided or had to leave that relationship. But you got back to being you. you, you I got the Nine of Pentacles right next to the Eight of Swords. And this is under the Two of Pentacles. Do you want to give up your independence? Do you, you want to give up any, you want to give up that pentacle that you have over there? Um, yes, this is being single. This is being stable, secure. Um, you probably have a job, apartment, car, uh, you're very self-confident and, um, I feel like you, you're, you're like, whoa, what am I getting my, if, you know, if, if I go for this relationship, I don't want to end up having to turn my back on it down the road. So uh, you're, you're really thinking about this. I have the high priestess next to the nine of pentacles and under the ten of wands. This is the card for intuition and knowing. So, you look, the moon, too, right above, right out there. The moon shines the light on the path to follow. Follow your intuition. That's what this card is saying. What is your intuition telling you? Follow that. Listen to yourself. Trust yourself in this situation and this burden that you're carrying about. What to do will go away. Whoops, long way. Okay, so Taurus, I do have the Page of Cups next to the Page of Pentacles. Uh, you're wondering what it is that they really ha have to offer you. You're wondering if they're just another one of those cups that's only half full. Okay, there, I'm going to hold this close. There is a fish poking its head out of that cup. So it's only half full. And look, they're not really reaching out with it. So this is kind of how you're overthinking this. Little things are said, little things happen, and you go back to... Uh, maybe not, you know, you want to hang on to your pentacles. See, you, you don't want to give up your independence. So you're really holding on tight to your pentacles. You want to be darn sure this is the way that you want to go. This soulmate that's coming in is bringing you a lot of joy, though. Remember that. Look at the big picture, like the guardian angel card said. Because the will of fortune is here next to the four of pentacles. This is the universe. They have control, a lot of control over your life. They're whispering in your ear. They're pushing you. They're pulling you. They're moving you in a direction that is, is for your best. Always for your best. It's the universe. Oh, my gosh. Very powerful. You want to hang on to your pentacles. I don't think you'll have to really let, you know, your pentacles go. Um, you might share them. You know what I mean? Let's keep reading. I have the Seven of Swords under the Page of Cups and next to the Ten of Wands. So this is deceitful behavior. This is part of the burden of the walking away. This is what's holding you back. This is why you're doing the balancing act in this other relationship here, this very beautiful soulmate relationship. Um, there was sneaky behavior. It was lying, stealing, cheating, hiding things from you. It could be just about anything that is deceitful. So you remember that, and that did become a burden. They only were offering you the Page of Cups, but you were staying in this Eight of Swords energy of not um, accepting that that's all they had for you and thinking that they really do love you. They could even have said that they loved you when they really uh, didn't feel that way. 
so um, deceitful. And um, I, I just feel like you're afraid to get into another situation like that. So you're just cautious, very cautious. I had the death card next to the seven of swords and under the four of pentacles. This is the card for Scorpio. Scorpio could be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But guess what? The end of the old, the beginning of the new. So you are going to leave this old energy behind. That's why you're dropping the wands, the burden of the old energy. You have um, the sword in front of you for self-protection. And you are definitely moving forward. It's like ringing out the old year and ringing in the new year. Um, it's it's a, a fresh new start and putting the old behind. And, and it's right next to that seven of swords. Then I have the hermit here. And the hermit's right under the wheel and next to the death card. This is very spiritual too, the hermit. This is the card for Virgo, by the way. So Virgo could be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But in your quiet times... I mean, you, you might have even prayed or meditated as far as seeking your path forward in the dark, not knowing which way to go. Well, the hermit's here, and they're shining the lantern. They hear you. This is a very spiritual card, part of the universe. They're, they're trying to show you the light. They're trying to show you what path to take. And you are going to move forward. You're, you're not going to be able to stop it. It's the universe is here <laughs> guiding you. So let it guide you. Follow your intuition. Let the universe guide you forward. I have the fool next to the high priestess and under the seven of swords. So you were kind of living in the energy of the fool with this other relationship, uh, ignoring this, the deceitful energy that was around you because it was fun in the moment. But eventually you started looking towards the future. And in looking towards the future, um, you know, the other person obviously was not. So that's why it's called the Fool's Card. Even though it's fun while you're in it, it never lasts. So you want to stay out of that energy of the Fool is what you're trying to do. I have the King of Pentacles next to the Fool and under the Death Card. King of Pentacles, that's Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There you are, Taurus. Boy, do you have a big pentacle. So, you know... Really, you kind of knew before in this other relationship, you knew much longer. You stayed in that relationship uh, longer than you probably should have. Um, you knew that you didn't really want to hand out all your pentacles or share your too many of your pentacles with this person because you, you, you had a gut feeling. I think you already had a gut feeling about your past relationship. It wasn't going to work. Now, look, you are the king of pentacles. Look at that pentacle. It's huge. You have a, a huge pentacle to offer. It's, it's like this pentacle has grown since you met, meet the soulmate. And you're becoming more and more focused on your future and handing it out. And it's under the death card. Uh, moving forward, I have the knight of wands next to the king of pentacles and under the hermit. Now, this is your fresh start, new beginning. I think that this relationship is going to take off. Um, there's a lot of passion with that wand. Um, it's about fresh starts, new beginnings, a lot of passion. Sometimes this could be about people who run in and out of your life. Now, your past relationship might have, but the hermit is saying, hey, this person's going to come in fast. If they, they either came in fast or they're coming in fast and they're passionate. It's going to be a very passionate relationship. And um, just don't overthink it. That's what I get from this reading.